Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, much to our disappointment, KSI is not dead, but he is still a retard. Only a retard would laugh so much at things that aren't funny. Let's watch. Yes, I haven't posted in a while. Several reasons. I'm not going to go into it today or ever because it's just not important. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny that is so funny listen to that absolute killer joke again i'm not gonna go into it today or ever because it's just not important <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny guys and what are those reasons that he's been away from his channel is it because prime is getting sued up the bungus is that why is it because you saw your 700 million dollar net worth just crater down as prime has gone from selling for 15 dollars a bottle to sitting at dollar stores collecting dust and nobody wants it is that why you've been away the lawsuits the failing business because if so that is funny but i'm back yes i like yes he's back oh my god what would he do without ksr he's so amazing next week on the fire first of august i am gonna be performing live on the zone Pay per view! Why are you screaming? With this stacked card underneath. Ah, oh, I'm buzzing. <laughs> <laughs> what a retard. I hate him. This stacked card. Oh my god. Why is he screaming? <laughs> Obviously, if you don't know, uh, I'm not fighting anymore. Oh, because thank god. I injured myself. I injured my hand. Every time I punch, it hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine trying to train for a fight against not one, but two people with a hand that is useless. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what are we going to do if KSI is not boxing? The greatest living boxer in his prime. We're missing out. God, I hope his hand heals up real quick. All I can do is jab. I'm doing my, my boxing starts just jabbing, but I can't close the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Since when have you closed the fight other than when you illegally elbowed somebody? You just dance around like a retard, hugging your opponent. It's like watching a mongoloid do ballet. You might find it boring if I'm just jabbing someone's head off all night. Yeah, but we, no we find your fights normally so exciting. So exciting. Oh my god. The most exciting fighter alive. Clearly. It, look, it's, it wasn't great for me. I'm a guy that likes to knock people out. And, uh, I'm sorry, what? You like to knock people out, what, with your elbow? With illegal moves? The delusion. So I saw a doctor. He said that my dorsal hood and my tendon in my knuckle, in between my two knuckles, is f***ed. So... <laughs> why, why is this funny? Why, why is this funny? So, instead of me leaving you lot in Dublin empty-handed, I thought, you know what? Why don't I just perform? I haven't performed in years. <laughs> <laughs> I, I haven't performed in absolute years and I know people have been gagging for me to perform music. No, we gag when you perform and you gag when you perform fellatio on the lizard people that have made you famous. Guys, KSI is proof of the Illuminati's existence because you cannot convince me there's any other reason for this retard to be famous. Hell, even his mother thinks he's in the Illuminati. Listen to this old clip. It's not that old. It's from a few months ago when he was an impulsive. Listen to this. Just listen to this. Because when I say that him and Logan Paul, Jake Paul, they serve the Illuminati and that's how they got their fame, you say, oh my God, you're so crazy. Oh, well, how about his own mother? How about the person that gave birth to him? How about the person that raised him? What does she think? So even like my mom is into so many conspiracies really and i'm there like like which ones uh, <laughs> well i mean there was, a, there was at one point she thought i was in the illuminati okay so actually actually in it and she was like oh why do you keep doing these hand signs in like photos logan don't do it i n d do no, just 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 take that in for a second because it's easy to uh, dismiss the people on the internet like me Oh, you're just crazy. Oh, you're just doing it for the clicks. You're a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, Illuminati. Ooh. Your own mother. Because his own mother lives with this retard. She raised this retard. And she's thinking, what, what is this guy's future going to be? Is he going to be a greeter at Walmart? I, I don't know if they have Walmarts in the UK, but you get my point. So she's thinking, Oh my God, he's, he's going to have to live with me for the rest of his life.
because he's retarded. He's a non-functioning retard. And then the next day, world famous. And then Prime blows up out of nowhere. And his net worth shoots up to like estimated $700 million for his stake in Prime. And this woman's thinking, I'm sorry, what? You, the mouth-breathing mongoloid, are worth $700 million. You, you, you have like 20 million subscribers. You, every video you put up gets 3 million, 10 million, 20 million views. You, the guy who was wearing a diaper until the age of 14. You. So she's like, there's only one explanation. This is the Illuminati. And look at all these hand signs he's all of a sudden started doing. Look at these facial expressions he's all of a sudden started doing. When your own mother calls you out for being in the Illuminati, am I so crazy for thinking that? Am I so crazy? Because if you think I'm some sort of mental case, well then, same for his mom. Same for the person that raised him, right? And if you're thinking, what's this Illuminati? What's this Illuminati, you sewer king? What are you talking about? What are these lizard people you're talking about? Come on, dude. Actual lizards. Come on, dude. Yeah, actual lizards. Watch this clip from this week. Watch this clip. Watch this clip and tell me I'm crazy. We're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. I'm sorry. What's that now? Let's listen to that again. For those of you who don't know, this is Nancy Pelosi. Now, I don't get into politics on this channel. I pride myself on being politically neutral on these videos, okay? Because the people are divided enough, okay? The world is, is going to hell. I'm just trying to help you guys laugh at it, not to divide people further. And this is not about left versus right. This is top versus bottom. This is the global elites and the scum in the sewer. All right? This is about the deep state versus the sewer state. Having said that, listen to this bitch. We're different from the president. We're very discreet, reptilian, cold-blooded. These are the races we have to win. I mean, KSI's mom thinks he's in the Illuminati. This bitch admits she's a reptile. She admits she's a lizard person. Yeah, but, I, but I'm crazy, right guys? I'm cuckoo crazy. All right, keep being dumb, I guess. Back to the mongoloid. So here I am doing it next week for the first time in forever. And I know people are excited because when we announced that instead of me fighting, I'm going to be performing, I was expecting people to ask for refunds. They're like, yo, I ain't seen this. But no one asked for refunds. <laughs> <laughs> the reason nobody asked for refunds is because they're five years old and they used their mommy's credit card. Your only fans are retarded five-year-olds, not even regular five-year-olds. Regular five-year-olds think this guy's a moron. He has this niche audience of retarded five-year-olds. They don't even know what a refund is. No one asked for refunds. Everyone said, yep, cool. I'm keeping this ticket. I was, I was amazed, but also gas because people actually wanted to see me perform again. I guess. It's amazing the, the ego, the narcissism, and the delusion. People bought tickets to come to a boxing press conference. That's what they bought tickets for. And then he announces that he's rapping at this press conference. And then people didn't refund their tickets. And he thinks that means people are excited to see him rap. No, retard. That means they still want to come to the boxing press conference they bought tickets for. And they'll just leave once you start rapping at the end. The ego to think, oh, they're all here for me, for me to rap. Because after they bought their tickets, I announced them rapping. And they didn't refund their tickets, therefore, they're excited about me rapping. But that's the level of delusion I guess you have to have to be one of these idiots. Because you can't have any self-awareness and be in his line of work. 
Yes, I haven't done it in a while. And when I was performing, it was lit. So yeah. I'm oh, it was lit. Guys, when he used to perform his rapping, it was lit. Guys, it was lit. I bet it was fire too. I'd also imagine that it was low key hard and maybe, just maybe, a vibe. It was definitely sick though. And ladies and gentlemen, for those of you at home, you will be able to also hear me commentate every fight. How crazy is that? Oh God. <laughs> I'm gonna be Ow. dead by the end of this event. Legit, like, hours what? He's, he's gonna be dead? Well, that's something to look forward to. From like 7 till 10, 11 of just constant work. God damn it, it's gonna be. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Listen to that again. Be dead by the end of this event. Legit, like, hours what? From like 7 till 10, 11 of just constant work. Oh my god, he's gonna have to work constantly for three hours from seven to 10. Never mind you working for 12 hours in a mine to come home with enough money to buy half a dozen eggs. This guy has to work for three hours at an event he'll make several million dollars. You poor bastard. Guys, please, let's, let's all say a prayer for KSI. Speaking of which, have you guys seen the prices of eggs lately? I went to Walmart. I snuck out of the sewer, okay? Late at night, I opened my manhole, snuck out for some protein, right? Because I'm bulking to get to 135 to take the bantamweight strap. And a carton of 18 eggs, okay, was almost $6. What is going on in this world? This was the Walmart brand, great value brand. I'm telling you, if something doesn't change soon, we're all done. We're all done. We're all done. When we can't afford eggs, yeah, by the way, I didn't buy them. I just came home. But honestly, it feels good to be doing music again. I've been in the studio countless times now, just working on new music. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's back in the studio making new music. Oh my God, the world waits with bated breath for your new music. And I can proudly say I've never once heard any of his songs. I'd like to keep it that way. Oh, also, using the most advanced video technology available to mankind. I would like to point out to you. Zoom in on that. Pause right there. He's copying my drip. This ugly bastard is copying my drip. Wow. KSI, you have gone too far. This will not go unpunished. And I like found the love for it again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he found the love for music again. <laughs> why is that funny? Why is that funny? Why, why, why is everything funny? He, he literally never says anything funny and yet punctuates it with the most outrageous, over-the-top laugh. I don't get it. You have to actually be retarded to laugh that hard after every sentence that comes out of your mouth that is not actually funny. You know what is funny though? An email I got this morning from YouTube. Yes, I got an email one hour ago from YouTube. And I checked the email address. This is legit. <laughs> Let me read this out to you. By the way, I did not contact YouTube. They contacted me. They're not replying to me. Hello, my name is... And I'm a community partner manager at YouTube. Smiley face. Now this is what you have to pay attention to. This will be the funniest part of this video. Listen. We love the content you've been creating. <laughs> okay, either there are some rogue employees at YouTube that are based as heck, or they didn't actually watch my videos. Just something about my metrics set off their AI that said, this guy's ready for channel memberships. Let's reach out to him and just blast it on email to all the uh, creators who met those metrics, right? Read it again. We love the content you've been creating. <laughs> now this is actually funny. This is where a KSI laugh would be warranted. We love the content you've been creating and feel you'd be a great fit for our new eight week channel membership bootcamp. Applications to join the channel membership bootcamp are now open. If you're receiving this email, it's because we've identified you as a potential creator to be part of the program and get access to a community partner manager, myself, 
who will be your guide in navigating YouTube channel membership, implementation, and best practices. Oh my God. So let's assume this guy hasn't seen my videos and I reach out to him. Hey buddy, so with this video right here, I had a problem with this part and he watches it and he just, oh my, oh my God, what do I do? Oh, let me sip my soy latte. Oh God. And his head explodes. This is incredible. Anyways, wow, they've invited me to a channel membership bootcamp. They want me to have channel memberships. They want me to start live streaming, guys. Because that's usually what channel memberships are for. It's part and parcel of live streaming. So this guy here loves my content, as he says, and wants me to start live streaming. We can't get enough of you, Sewer King. Why don't you go live to the people? Why don't you spew your sewage more often and do it live? Where God knows anything can happen and anything can come out of your mouth. Because we, we, we love the content you've been creating. Wow, this is incredible. I, I really hope it's not that they didn't watch it, but that there's some people that actually like this at YouTube. But we know that's not the case. Anyway, channel memberships coming soon, I guess, you guys. Even YouTube wants it. Legit, like, I have created bangers. The thing is, I'm... Oh my God, did he? Guys, <laughs> just to reset. Remember he was talking about he created new music? Listen to this egotistical, retarded piece of trash, what he says about his own music. Just working on new music and I like found the love for it again. <laughs> Legit, like, I have created bangers. <laughs> Burgers! Can you imagine the Beatles, arguably the greatest songwriters of all time, saying, oh yeah, we just worked on some new material for the album, and we created some bangers! Now I know that terminology wasn't even out back then, but just imagine them being that egotistical. And now imagine that their music was actually garbage. And now you might say, well, it's working. you... <laughs> You said you didn't listen to his music. How, how, how do you know the stuff he makes is garbage? Look at this asshole. Are you kidding me? He is a talentless retard. He is a mouth breathing mongoloid. What kind of music does a mongoloid make? It can't be good. It can't, right? So, so you're telling me he's a retard as a YouTuber, as a boxer, as an actor. I've seen his acting, but magically his music is just incredible. Really? Really? I kind of want to just surprise you and I just know there might be people who are going to just hear these songs and go, oh my god, I didn't think Ace I could do this. Mad, this is crazy. Oh, this is a sick song. Oh, this is, yeah, yeah, like, oh, when he did this. <laughs> oh, bro. Like, he's not kidding, right? His ego is actually this big. Wow. Like, I've just gone nuts. I, I know, I found the love for it again. The sick thing is, like, I'm still able to- what, what, What's the sick thing? What's the sick thing, KSI? Tell us what the sick and lit thing is. What's the sit lick thing? With a train, so I feel good, you know, uh -huh. physically and mentally. Yeah. As well as, you know, being able to do music. Bro, I feel like how I was in, what, 2021? Oh, my God. Where I was doing boxing and music at the same time. Uh -huh. I was finally- Boxing finish. and music at the same time. So he was in the ring rapping and, and punching, right? just right and then obviously you know i'm still doing sidemen as well it's all just coming together so nice oh yeah the only thing i was missing was oh, the youtube yeah. and here i am ladies and gentlemen i'm here now oh, doing youtube i found the perfect balance for everything so oh, i want to still be somewhat consistent on here oh, but thank uh god. yeah enough babbling on oh thank god guys <sighs> i'm so glad that he is firing on all cylinders and he can box and rap and do YouTube. Thank God. <laughs> for me, ladies and gentlemen, I'm good. <laughs> I've been in a relationship for several years now and life, life is, life. I'm sorry, what? Okay, we gotta look this up. Who the hell is this guy dating? KSI girl, friend. KSI spotted with girlfriend on TikTok. Uh, let's see, what? Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. Damn, dude. Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. All right. 
Okay, so I just owned my ass. All right, well, friends, if you learned anything from this video, young men, go get rich. Go get YouTube famous, and you too can have a hot girlfriend. Wow. I guess I can just sit here and yell into a dark sewer tunnel, but at the end of the day, this guy wins. Let's, let's not kid ourselves, okay? He gets the last laugh. Obviously, he's constantly laughing. But here I can make fun of him all day long. He doesn't even know I exist. He doesn't even know I exist. He's never seen any of my videos. I am absolutely nothing. I am nowhere on his radar. When he's being chauffeured around in a Bentley and has a smoking hot girlfriend. And, and, and I'm sitting... I, I'm, I'm, you guys can't see the lower half, the camera's cut off, but I'm sitting in sewage. Like I'm, I'm actually in a drainage tunnel here. Okay, the water's passing through. There's turds, there's turds passing through my legs, right? So I'm sitting in sewage and, I, and, I'm, and I'm pointing out the manhole. Ha ha, KSI, you suck, you're a loser. M meanwhile, he, he's, he's being chauffeured around in a luxury vehicle with a model of a girlfriend. So. You know, he gets the last laugh, but hey, let me just deal with my trash life by making fun of him for 20 minutes. And you guys can get a laugh, you know, and then uh, we can just cry the rest of the time, I guess. Life is really good right now, and I, I just don't feel like I bet it is. it up. <laughs> Can we give Mo some love? Man's been killing it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is phenomenal, bro. Man has lost so much weight. I like, bro, he looks like a completely different person. No, he doesn't. You can clearly see it's the same goat diddling face. It's just less fat. He's just been drinking less goat cum. Pretty simple, guys. Weight loss is simple. He was fat as fuck, man. <laughs> was huge look at this guy how how was he able to move <laughs> oh my god the over-the-top laughing guys i want to kill myself i'll be honest I, when i listen to him laugh i just want to end it all let me tell you um this shows just how grating his laugh is to my soul okay so usually when i put out a video when i record a video I have a page of notes, okay? I have a page of notes because I watch the video beforehand and I write down timestamps, okay? Of the, of the things that I wanna address, the points in the video I wanna address, okay? I stay organized, I have a plan. Let's discuss this moment, let's discuss that moment. So I tried to watch this video yesterday to, to take my notes. I couldn't get past the first five seconds. I couldn't get past that first laugh. Let me show you. L let me show you my notes. So normally you've seen my page of notes and, and I scribble every point out, every time stamp out after I address that point, right? Look at my notes for this week. Zero, zero, that's the time stamp. Zero, zero, I'm not dead. Remember, the first thing he said was, I'm not dead, followed by hysterics, hysterical laughter. That's where I stopped yesterday. That's where I stopped. I had to bow out. I had to bow out because I realized I'm going to have to watch this entire 20 minute video of obnoxious laughter. And then again, when I'm filming, I'm gonna have to watch it again. So I thought if I have to go through this, I'm only going through this once. So right now, completely off the, off the cuff, off the top of my head, I don't know what he's saying in this video. I'm just addressing it as it happens because I simply could not sit through this twice. And I'm telling you, I'm having a hard time sitting through it right now. And I've only, I've only gotten six minutes into it. Guys, I, I, I can't promise that I'm gonna keep going for the entire length of this video, but let's see how much longer I can last. <laughs> uh, Keep laughing, no, no, retard. Bro, honestly, Mo, because obviously you're into this. Bit. <laughs> Even, you know, having a wife and kids, bro, uh, smashed it, bro. Keep it up. Keep it up, man. <laughs> Keep, hey, hey, you're doing well. Keep it up, bro. 
How, how did that warrant a laugh? Hey man, you're doing real well. Keep it up. He, he's not, guys, you think I just throw the word around retarded? You think I throw that word around? You think I throw the word mongoloid around? Is he not a retard? This is why his mother thinks he's an Illuminati. Her mother is just sitting there thinking, how is this retard I've raised? so rich and famous there's no other explanation than satanism he must be in a satanic cult there's no other explanation he should be begging on the streets you guys can't call me crazy anymore when his own mother is convinced he's in the illuminati keep it up keep it up man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, saying that I just gotta let it go. Ugh, this happens every time I get a haircut, man. Look, look, it's fun. Okay, so he's he's addressing his ginormous forehead and his hair loss, which explains why he always has a bandana on. But they saw a picture of him at some black tie event without it on, and they roasted him. Let's let's see what he has to say. Fine. Look, it's you can see where my hairline is. Oh. Okay. Like, now the editor's having can, fun. Like, it's, but it's just whenever I get it caught, I would see the barber's got to like take it up a little. To see, they got to make a joke out of it by the editor making his forehead look bulbous to take away from it. Let's 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 take away from the reality of it by making a joke. But let's see what it actually looks like. Make it straight. This happens every time All I right. get a haircut. And then after a while, it stops. OK, whoa, that's an enormous hair. Head, head, forehead. So he's saying it's actually his barber's fault he got a haircut? Did, did the barber shave your forehead up five inches? That's your explanation. Guys, his forehead is the size of the rest of his face. But apparently that's the barber's mistake. And if the barber's making that mistake, you've been going to the same, you continue to go to the same barber for what, five years? Stops because my hair goes, grows back, yada, yada, yada. I'm not going to Turkey. <laughs> I'm happy with how I look. If my girlfriend... I'm happy with the way I look. That's why you have to have that bandana on all the time, right? Somebody who always has a bandana on is not happy with how they look. Otherwise, they wouldn't be covering up. I'm happy with how I look. If my girlfriend is happy with it, I'm happy in it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a sec. Does this retard think... His girlfriend is actually attracted to him? Like, his physical appearance? Hey, dumbass. She's attracted to your money, to your fame. You stupid, mouth-breathing jackass. This idiot thinks that that smoke show of a girlfriend we just saw is attracted to this, is, is happy with this, is happy with that massive receded hairline. This, this delusion, I talked to, I, I talked about the delusion guys. This guy is so deluded. He thinks that girl is happy with his appearance. She doesn't care about your appearance, you jackass, you moron, you absolute retard. She's happy with your stake in Prime. She's happy with your YouTube ad revenue. She's happy with the lifestyle you're providing her. She'll be happy to hook you with a baby soon so that you're on the hook for the rest of your life, regardless of how your relationship turns out. That's what she's happy about, idiot. You, you, you just need to see her standing next to him and you, you immediately know. You immediately know. Asshole, do you think you would have had this girl if you weren't who you are career-wise? Do you honestly believe that? Do you honestly believe that if, if she wasn't being led into a Bentley or, or, or whatever the hell that was, a Rolls Royce, after you guys went shopping at some expensive designer store, if you, if you think she would have been happy with how you look, if that isn't the lifestyle you're providing her, Oh my God, the delusion. Listen, guys, I'm all for rich guys being with young, beautiful women, right? It could, I mean, 
If you're honest about it, what's the problem? Right? Like, listen, I, I know gold diggers get a bad rap. All right, let's just let's have a talk. I want to have a talk with the young guys here. I know the gold diggers get a bad rap, right? Oh, she's just with you for the money. There's no problem if you know that's the case, if the man knows that's the case, because then it's a business transaction, right? I, the man, am providing you with a certain lifestyle. You, the woman, are providing me with a certain physical specimen. You're young and beautiful. I am rich. It's a transaction. The problem comes when, a, when an idiot like this thinks she's actually happy with how he looks. She's actually into him. The biggest point, she would actually be with you if you weren't rich and YouTube famous. That's the problem. That's the problem with a gold digger and an idiot, right? Is that she's fooled him into thinking she actually wants to be with him for him, that she actually is in love with him. That's, that if there's a problem, that's the problem. Otherwise, who the hell cares? She's with you for the money. Yeah, and I'm with her because she's hot. Transaction completed. But then this dumbass is forgetting what the social contract is. <laughs> yeah, dude, she wants you for you because you're so, so hot, dude. She's just so turned on with you laughing like a chimp after every single sentence. Yeah, dude, she loves that. If she is happy with how I look, I, I don't need to give a shit about anyone. Even if she don't care. Bro, I'm happy with how I look. I don't give a f <laughs> I'm out, guys. I'm out. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. I got eight minutes. I got in eight minutes of a 20 minute video. I'm bowing out. I'm tapping out. I'm tapping out to rear naked retard. I'm out. And the last video I roasted KSI is right here. You should check that one out too if you, if you watch this whole one.